Hello friends and welcome back to a new video. Today I'm going to explain to you what aspect ratio is and resolution and how they work together and why you can't have one without the other. What's very important to understand here is that the resolution determines the aspect ratio. You can have an aspect ratio of square one by one in 720 in 1080 or in 4K. In the same aspect ratio, you can have three, four, or multiple resolutions, okay? But the resolution determines the aspect ratio. I'm gonna show you quickly how this is done. So basically, if you go to DaVinci Resolve in the right bottom corner here, go to this gear icon over here, and go to Master Settings. On Master Settings, you can see timeline resolution. Here you will determine your resolution timeline and the aspect ratio. So basically the aspect ratio of my timeline here is 4K and it's 16 by 9. Why is it 16 by 9? Because it's Ultra HD, 3840, 2160, it's Ultra HD and I know that this is 16 by 9. If you don't know the resolution or the aspect ratio, what I recommend you to go and do, go quickly to chat GPT, okay, and if you want to create, for instance, a 4K one by one aspect ratio, go in chat GPT and ask chat GPT, what's a square 4K resolution timeline for video? And as simple as that, it's gonna show you the answer. And which is quite incredible, it actually explains everything. A square 4K resolution for video means that both the width and the height of the frame are equal, maintaining the aspect ratio of one by one. Traditional 4K resolution for widescreen video is typically 3840 by 2160 pixels, which has an aspect ratio of 16 by nine. And actually here, it shows me the square 4K resolution would be approximately 2880 by 20. 880. Incredible. And if I go now back to DaVinci Resolve, I can go here to Timeline Resolution, and if I press on this one, I see a lot of resolutions and aspect ratio. What is important to understand here is that, you know, you cannot choose aspect ratio and resolution later. It's impossible, because as I said earlier, the resolution determines the aspect ratio and nowadays in DaVinci Resolve, in Final Cut, in Premiere Pro, you will always see different resolutions for the specific aspect ratio. So let's say I want a 16 by 9 in 720 or in 1080 or in 4K, you will have three different resolutions because the resolution will determine the aspect ratio. Okay? It has to be clear on that. So let's say I wanted to have, so you see, this here is 720 by 480. This is a 720p, uh, uh, 16 by 9, okay? And I have the same 16 by 9, but I will have it here, you see, in HD. It's the same aspect ratio, it's 16 by 9, but the res resolution here is 1080, you see? And I have the same 16 by 9 in 4K. I'm going to show you. Here it is. You see, this is still 16 by 9, but this is 4K. Okay? And if you want a square, here it is. This is a square 4K. 2160 by 2160. Remember earlier that the 4K is 2880 by 2880? That's true. Here it is. And here it shows me that the square is 2160 by 2160. It's still 4K, but it's a two different resolutions of the 4K. I know it's a little bit confusing, but don't worry. They're both 4K. And obviously 2160 is a bit less resolution, but you know, on a square, you won't be able to see it. Okay, so let's say you want to change this, okay? Let's say you are looking for an aspect ratio or for a resolution that is not here in this list, which I don't know, it's, it's quite, hard to believe. But anyway, so what you can do, you go to custom here, and then here you choose your own aspect ratio. And, you know, obviously you choose the resolution and the resolution will determine the aspect ratio. I know it's a little bit complicated. I know it sounds complicated, but it's actually very, very, very easy. Okay. Now the most important thing is 
So you see here, these are the master settings of the, the whole project. What if I want to have two timelines with two different aspect ratio and resolution? It's simple. What I'm going to do now, I'm going to go to timeline over here. I'm going to go and duplicate timeline. Okay. I'm going to name this timeline square. Okay. One by one by one. Okay. We're going to name it one by one. I'm going to go and click on it. And you see straight away here, it's still 16 by nine. But what I'm going to do now, I'm going to go and right click on the mouse timelines timelines settings okay now when i'm in timeline settings what you have to do you have to go and untoggle this use project settings because i want this to be different than the main project settings that you saw earlier so i can have different settings for different timelines which is absolutely genius we're going to untoggle this on and now i'm going to go and create a square 4k resolution if i go to davinci resolve now over here and i'm go you see this is the square this is a 720p uh, square resolution i want to go and create a 4k resolution square you see this is this is a uh, 1080 by 1080 square one by one aspect ratio and somewhere there i saw earlier a square 4k here it is i'm gonna go and click on this one and you see 2160 by 2160 okay so you can do you can go and do scale entire image to fit if you want or you can go and uh, crop with no resizing scale full frame of crop scale entire image to fit stretch frame to all corners which is quite incredible when you think that davinci resolve is going to do everything for you okay i'm going to leave it how it is now one important thing is to go to output and make sure that this is toggled on use timeline scaling for output scaling okay very very important and this one should be untoggled okay go back to format and click ok now straight away what you can see we have a 4k square resolution one by one aspect ratio as you can see it's a square but now this everything is 4k okay pretty cool and now what I can do actually I can go to my initial timeline and go again and duplicate it again duplicate timeline and my duplicated timeline should be this one double click here and do I want to create this timeline a vertical resolution let's say 16 by 9 so gonna 9 by 16 okay I'm gonna click on it I'm gonna go here timeline timeline settings I'm gonna go and as you can see here again you have to go and use project settings untoggle this and go here which is pretty cool here this is 4k already but this is a 16 by 9 4k what I can do in DaVinci Resolve I can go and just toggle this on use vertical resolution and straight away I'm gonna have a a vertical resolution and still in 4k and I don't need to go and you know look for things there this is pretty cool because automatically DaVinci Resolve you see changes the resolution there can you see 380 now 16 by 9 and now go straight away 2160 by 3840 ultra hd you can obviously do this in you know 1080p if i want to i'm gonna go here you see 1080 by 920 it's the same vertical resolution if i click on it you see it's still toggle this use vertical resolution i tend to do everything in 4k but look when you edit and you post on small screens it doesn't really matter to be honest with you but you know I like to be you know um, uh, future proof so I always you know do a little bit more than expecting from me okay so done and then straight away if I click on this one if I click on this and you see this is a vertical resolution and again so the thing is now what i can do i can have three different timelines so you see this is my six so 16 by 9 is actually 9 by 16 okay this is the vertical resolution i'm gonna go now by one by one the square one and i click and it's square it's genius and i can go straight away at the same time click on my 16 by 9 and i have three projects with different aspect ratio it's absolutely genius but don't make this mistake to go here on the bottom 
to change the master settings. Don't do it because if you are going to change the master settings here in the project settings, you will change the settings to all of them. Okay, make sure if you're working with one timeline, no problem, go here, put it in default and leave it like it is. But the different timelines need to have the settings that are changed from here. Okay. And obviously, as I told you before, make sure the output, the, the use project settings is not toggled on. And now obviously you can go and create your masterpiece. I'm going to go to the vertical resolution again. And you see here, I've created this amazing proposal for um, a gentleman called Ahmad. He did propose to his fiance and it was beautiful and it was fantastic. It was in Kyoto Gardens in London and I had a fantastic time and I'm so happy for him. And you see, and now I can go, let's say, because obviously this was um, copied from my 16 by 9 timeline resolution, okay, which is here, right? And now if I'm working in a vertical resolution, I'm going to go and click on it. Okay, so what I can do, I can go, for instance, let's say, and make sure that my couple is in the middle. What I can go and do, I can go to Smart Reframe over here. I have a video on Smart Reframe. I can go and I have a put auto and I'm going to automatically um, decide what's in the middle of the shot and straight away it moved my uh, couple in the middle of the frame it's absolutely fantastic i have a video on smart reframe i will add it to the description so you can you can uh, watch it it's it's fantastic it's only available for um the studio version but you know if you're doing this professionally it will save you a ton of time okay and now this is my vertical resolution now if i go back to my 16 by 9 and i look at the same clip you can see nothing is changed here because we only changed in that timeline. What I used to do before, I have to admit it, I didn't know that. I used to go always and change the project settings over here to change the resolution. And what had happened was, even if I have two different timelines, when I used to go back to um, the vertical resolution everything was changed and i wanted to go back to my 16 by 9 aspect ratio resolution you know everything was moved because i i only changed the aspect ratio and the resolution for basically for the whole project not just for that timeline and it's 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 absolutely genius it's absolutely incredible if you know how it works if you take your time to master the settings it will save you a ton of time anyway i hope this video helped you i hope you got some value out of it and if you did please give this video a thumbs up and uh, you know leave me a comment below let me know if it was helpful if you have any more questions about davinci resolve i'll be very very happy to help you with that soon i will start doing more color correction um, as a lot of you are asking for color correction uh, tutorials but you know i want to take my time and do it well thanks so much for sticking around thanks so much for watching my videos and you know i'll catch you guys in the next one i appreciate you being here and all the best. Happy creation. Bye-bye.